right, people, what the hell is going on? It is time for another one of my regular ass uh, woe is me boohoo dating videos <laughs> or lack of dating videos. I have shit. I've been uh, getting over some chest congestion over this past weekend, and I've been in the house just laying down pretty much. It's one of them things where, uh, you know, when I, when I talked about it in my last video, where, you know, I can lay down on my back and it feels like somebody's sitting on your chest. And like right now, sitting up, walking around, or whatever the fuck, I'm fine. I'm, you know, but as soon as you lay down, on my back, you feel like somebody's sitting on your chest. Then when you try to lean on either side, you start coughing. It's some weirdly specific ass shit be happening. It's just, I don't know. But uh, I had some Mucinex, I took that. Um, I'm drinking tea. I've been eating like uh, some uh, garlic and, well, somebody told me to boil some garlic and uh, onions and drink that. So, what I did was I made me a soup with a shit ton of onions and garlic in it. <laughs> that's gonna be that's gonna be that. God damn it! So, that's what I did, and uh, I'm, I'm I'm doing okay now. I, I, I just got to get out the fucking house. Uh, that's because I ain't get to go to the gym this past weekend. So probably either tomorrow or Wednesday will be a gym day, which is supposed to happen anyway. Um, anyway. Back to the dating thing. Uh, since it ain't really been shit going on, um, it's just been a bunch of uh, me sitting around swiping and, and doing all kind of shit. You know, the usual dating shit. And <laughs> it, I get some of the stupidest shit, man. Um, somebody sent me a message the other day. Uh, so I'm at say some point over the weekend I can't remember exactly. Uh, you know, speaking, you know, blah blah blah, and then they, I don't know, I'm gonna assume, I'm assuming that they, they looked at my pictures, and then, um, started talking to me, cause I didn't message her. Usually, you know how it is on dating apps. You're a dude. You gotta send messages off to people. Usually when you get messages from people first, it's not really people you want to talk to. You know what I'm saying? It's just like that. Sound mean sometimes. That's just how it is. If you get a message first from a woman, it's probably somebody you don't want to talk to. You know? <laughs> but anyway, I got a message. But I, we chatted for about maybe two or three uh, back and forths. And then... I remember looking back in the inbox and then that, you know, depending on which app you use sometimes, they don't update until you get in the inbox. So if somebody delete the conversation or you get blocked or whatever the fuck, uh, it won't happen until you go back in the inbox and you'll be looking right with a name. You, you'll just, it'll be a name that just fucking disappear. Bloop, name disappear. I'm like, what the fuck? And you start, I'm like, I don't know about Start looking for that last conversation you have. That bitch gone. <laughs> Motherfucker done had enough of you. Oh, they could have. Yeah, I mean, right in the middle of. I ain't talking about no couple days and shit gone. I'm, just, I'm talking about right in the middle of a conversation. I'm just like, yeah, okay. Which is, which didn't bother me at all because it's that it was from somebody I didn't really find attractive at all. But I don't let that stop me from talking to people. And then. Cause my, you know, at this point, you know, my if it, if I just went by who, who was attractive, I might as well delete all the fucking apps. <laughs> I really would. I'd be just, I might as well just delete all the fucking apps. If you, if you just want to go by that, cause you know my contacts is always like <laughs> and I, you know, I say I ain't saying I'm the best looking guy. You know, a lot of people. You know, I send out a lot of messages and I don't get no replies back. Not everybody finds me attractive. Some people do. I get a shit ton of hey, hey, handsomes and, and blah, blah, blah. And people sending me messages based on them just looking at my pictures and not reading my profile. So. Uh, 
teach his own. Now I'm like right in the middle of the conversation. I got, and I'm, I'm assuming that she went back and read, read my profile, which is not conducive to everybody. It's just not. I know I'm talking about this, but my, my profile, I would tell you all the shit. I, you know, first couple of lines you read is like, oh, this is me right here. That's me and the shit I can't do nothing about. You know, like my vision and shit like that. But then I, I just did my, redid my profile. I, re, I rewrote it. The top part, I left there. People take offense to it for some reason. I'm like, okay, I got this going on. I got this going on. I got that going on. You know, people take offense to me stating shit about myself. Like for real, people take offense to me stating shit about myself. I didn't say what you had to do or what you gotta be. I'm stating shit about me. People read my profile, you know, and 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 try to uh, take my tone, or they put they stick their own uh, interpretation on, which is fine, because I, I, you know. It ain't a hundred percent, but if once you got your own little shit, cause women do that, I mean, I don't guess men do it too, but I don't date men. Cause I had somebody uh, not too long ago get in an argument with somebody and y'all ain't doing them exchange one message. You know, after the first initial hello, how, you know, all that shit, it go down the fuck hill. Because she gonna take some shit in your profile you know what I'm saying? You know, tell me what I am. You know what I'm saying? I say some shit in the inbox. Agreeing with what with, with they said. I know I talked about this. I'm like, shit, I was agreeing with, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers stick a tone on your shit. That's one of the bad, thing about, bad things about texting and stuff like that because you can't tell people tone but folks will jump on your, you just assume that you upset. You know what I'm saying? They would, I'm like, nah, you can't do that. You can't read my profile and they gonna be like, I, you know, you this, that, and the other. You don't know me, bitch. You have no idea what I am other than what I typed in my profile. Now you have to keep that in mind for your fucking self. Okay, this is what is in their profile. Ain't no way somebody can summarize themselves in 500 goddamn characters. Can't be done. I mean, you can if you sit there and think about it, but you just have to have a list of words. You won't be able to say shit. You just have a whole bunch of descriptors down there, which really don't mean shit because people do that. People have a whole long ass line of adjectives describing themselves. Well, of course, that's what the fuck you think. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're a female, don't be writing the shit other people have said about you. <laughs> Especially dudes. Don't don't write all this shit, all those little words that motherfuckers use to describe you. Those are all dudes that's trying to get some pussy. Or some booty or some titty or whatever it is they're trying to get. Whatever it is they're trying to get out of you, that's what they're trying to get. Don't take those words seriously. You know what I'm saying? Don't. But they do because they use them motherfuckers because all the words that they they using is shit that, that ain't nobody else gonna use to describe themselves. That's what you use to describe other people. You know? I don't do that. What I got in my profile. You know what I'm saying? I got I got this shit about my vision and I don't drive and I also got on them that I don't reply to fucking uh like um, emojis and one word messages and shit. Motherfuckers that don't put no fucking uh, and that's up there. It ain't no long ass thing. It's a sentence. It's a, and I don't reply to emojis. That means if you gonna be on, if you gonna be in an inbox with me, um, you gotta say something. I got some shit right now. It's a productive company. I'm, I'm pointing over there, like my phone over there. My phone right the fuck here. Well, it was a long 
productive ass conversation with a couple of people and then the conversation just end because I got a cool or okay or some goddamn emoji instead of a actual sentence back. If you don't send me a goddamn sentence back after I done said some shit, more than likely I ain't got shit to say back. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't. I got that in there. Uh, what, what the, see, I rewrote my profile. I can't remember what the fuck I put in there. I just did it the other day. Um, <laughs> I know I put in there the fact that I hop on to swipe. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. I hop on to swipe and just see what happens. I ain't looking for shit. I ain't got no expectations. I hop on, I swipe. You know, I also got in there, I think right along that line or right after that, I got it. I was like, you have to realize, you know what I'm saying? You have to realize that you in a, um, yeah, 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 okay, I remember what I got. I hop on in just a swipe. I say, if we cross paths on here, it's solely out of chance. You know what I'm saying? It's solely out of chance. You have to realize that you in a numbers game. This is a social slot machine. That's what I got on there. That's almost word for word what I got on there, what I can dig out of my memory. It's a social slot machine. If you don't understand that, then you set yourself up for failure. That's in there too. And that's to get the shit out that, okay, you hop in my inbox, you gonna ask me what I'm doing, whatever, what I'm looking for and all that stuff is right the fuck there. You know what I'm saying? I already said I ain't looking or expecting nothing out of nobody but they gonna hop in your inbox anyway because most motherfuckers ain't gonna read your goddamn profile. No, <laughs> they not. They not gonna read your profile. The only people that read your profile is the people that you don't want reading your goddamn profile. <laughs> but, I'm like, and you need some conversation skills. Now, I, I put this shit in there. I say, you need some conversation skills other than, so tell me about yourself. Because that's actually a fucking pet peeve of mine. You gonna ask me some vague ass question? I mean, uh, hit me with some vague ass request. <laughs> so tell me about yourself. I hate when people say, so tell me about yourself. That's something about myself. It's a fucking pet peeve of mine. I hate that shit. What the fuck you wanna know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What the fuck you wanna know? You want to know some shit? Ask me what you fucking want. I'm not for to ask you. I mean, answer no broad ass shit like that. You know, because most, most of the time, what I'm going to tell you is the shit that's in the fucking profile. Read it. And usually when I tell people to read my profile, when I actually have other information in there, like my last one did, I don't, I mean, don't, I mean, I don't hear from them anyway. Because I ain't what you're looking for. Well, that's what the profile is for. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's for. You read that profile, you ain't with it. There's some shit in there you don't like. Well, that's me. You know what I'm saying? You take it how you want. Some people look at the shit and think it's fucking funny. It'd be like the uh, this chick that just hit me up a couple minutes ago. You know, we met, so I was like, okay, fuck it. And this is some shit where I just said, fuck it, I will speak. You know, because, you know, a lot of times if we meet, if we match and you ain't in my area, I won't even speak unless you speak to me. I'm like, fuck it, I'll speak. You know what I'm saying? Wait for some white broad in Michigan somewhere. Why the fuck is she even on my, you know, on my match list? My match list is set to like 20 miles from my house or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Not somebody way to fucking Michigan. So I like fuck it. So she, <laughs> I just I spoke because we matched or whatever. And then I noticed there was a little reply. You know, on Facebook dating, you get the little tabs that go along with your pictures, and you can type whatever the fuck you want them. And then I got on that side one of them tabs. 
you know, if you if you send me one of them fucking thumbs up, then you know the only thing you gonna get is a thumbs up back. You know what I'm saying? On Facebook and Messenger, y'all know this right here. Just if if you get a thumbs up, that just that's basically this right here. <laughs> it is. That's basically what it is. So I see. I I, I look. I saw. I, I saw that because when they when they when they may leave a comment on one of your little pictures or one of the little tabs in the inbox, it'll be like a little clip of the tab, and then they reply to that. So you will know that it's not just a regular message. And of course, I seen a little clip of my tab. I'm like, oh. and then I see the thumbs up. So I'm like, you want it? This bitch is one of them motherfuckers. You'll say some shit you don't like, so they for to do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they they gonna do it. I will say that's some typical black folk shit, but that came from a white broad, way up in Michigan. So they everybody do this shit everywhere. Uh, and then I think I ran across the the profile again because usually when I message I message people I try to look in the inbox to see if there was a message in there. I looked in the inbox, you know, because it, it, the, the, everything don't update right away. So I, you know, boom! I I, I seen I had a, a match. It still had new on the match. I clicked the shit. Didn't have no messages down there. That's when I sent my little greeting. And then she sent me this message back. Hello. And then a message under that. I'm not sure why your profile is overly negative. You're not even a good looking guy. Bitch, is you out your fucking mind? You out your goddamn mind? Now, apparently, you ain't fucking all that goddamn great looking yourself because. Your ass is on the same app doing the same shit my ugly ass is doing. So, I don't know what the fuck you getting at. And I know goddamn well you ain't saying I'm not a good looking guy with the pictures I got up there now. And I don't look like this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't even look like this in them pictures. Those are good pictures I got up there. And nobody, those pictures mislead so many goddamn people, you gonna hop in my inbox and say you not even a good looking man? No. You all the way out your motherfucking mind with that. You can you can take that shit out. Now if you walk through my door right now and look at me sitting right here, then okay, I, I get it. But with the pictures I got up, fuck you. You can't even lie to me like that. I'm sorry. Because okay. If I'm not a good looking man, anyway, why the fuck are you even, why the fuck are you even uh, uh, swiping on me in the first place? Because you're a female, I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure we don't operate all the same way. You know, as a dude, you got to hop on a date naps and just swipe right on everybody. Because that's what the fuck I do. And if I don't swipe right on everybody, like on Facebook, I don't swipe right on everybody. Because Facebook don't respect your distance. You know what I'm saying? I say I only want to see people fucking 20 miles from my house. They got motherfuckers from fucking Louisiana and Dallas and all kind of places and shit all over goddamn Texas, all up into um, Louisiana. You know, showing up on my on my little uh, swipe thing. I'm like, why is this down here? Now, on BLK, you can swipe right on everybody because, you know, you say you don't want to see nobody over 20 miles, you're not going to see nobody over 20 miles. Every so often you might. For whatever reason. Maybe somebody, maybe they'll, st maybe they'll stick somebody on them that, that, that might be close to 20 miles or maybe a little bit over, but they done swiped on you for whatever reason, so they'll stick them in the list just to see if you, match, you, you catch the match or whatever. I think I kind of noticed that happen a couple times. Well, I'd get a match and it'll be uh, it, it can't help but be for somebody that I was swiping on, you know, on my little list. And I'm like, they 25 miles away. How the fuck you even end up on my shit? You're not even supposed to show up. You know? <laughs> but that shit right there pissed me off. 
the way it did piss me off. That's that's a, that's a bit of a hyperbolic statement. It's it's more entertaining than anything because that's what I expect out of most people. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what I expect out of most people. Because out of the dumb shit I run across, like right now, I got somebody that's in the inbox, and obviously they're one of those people that just need somebody to text every once in a while just for the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? They way in Louisiana. Some some white lady in Louisiana. Some 50-something-year-old white lady in Louisiana. All she want to do is just, you know, type, how you doing? Blah, blah, blah. You know, I, I don't know how the fuck she talk, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Do I find her track? Yeah, fuck no, I don't. <laughs> I don't. But thing is, you run across shit like this, well, this woman gave me her phone number. Gave me her phone number. I texted the number. I'm like, yo, this is blah, blah, blah. From, you know, shit like that. Then, you know, uh, for folks that's in my phone, y'all know how I operate. You get the little text every once in a while and shit like that. She don't reply to none of that shit. All the shit that go to the phone, it's like it's not, you know, it's like not a, not a phone. Now, I can see if it was a house phone, but if it was a house phone, I would know because it would be like, you know, you're doing some text message shit with a with a landline. You, they usually get some kind of goddamn um, notice or you know, something, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, it's not compatible. You can't send that, that it's not that, that. Uh, anyway, that's what I get. It's a random ass conversation with somebody way out the fucking state that then gave me a phone number. But don't reply to shit I send to their phone. I'm not for to call you. You know what I'm saying? Like this other chick uh, gave me give me a phone number, and this happened a whole bunch of times. People give me their phone number. They'll hop in my inbox right off the front. Don't read my profile or nothing. Look at the pictures. Hop in my inbox and start sending goddamn phone numbers and shit. Don't send me your phone number thinking I'm gonna be the one fucking calling you. You know what I'm saying? If I didn't ask for your phone number, I'm not going to push that shit. Okay, you send me your phone number. I will text you and let you know that blah, 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 blah. This is such and such off of whatever fuck app and uh, send a picture. And, and, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? You know, we could text in the phone. Keep it on the bank. But most of the time, even those people are dry as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Number just end up sitting in your fucking phone because if if you just got they it's a, a thousand other niggas in their goddamn phone. You know what I'm saying? You ain't number one of fucking many. So you sending your little text messages every so often, nigga, motherfuckers ain't never got shit to say. If I do uh, speak with, you know, you ain't talk about shit. And I don't want nobody hit me up talking about you, know, you don't really be talking about nothing. Well, I can say the same. Anytime I've heard that shit, I can say the fucking same. I really can. I can, because my whole thing is I'm going to revert everything, not everything, but most of what you, you give me. If it's dry conversation, well, you either gonna get dry or no conversation from me. I'm not gonna be sitting up here like I'm talking to my fucking self. So all those numbers that I got in my phone, other than the legacy people, you know what I'm saying? Other than the legacy people, that means I've known you for 10 plus years. You know, you out of there. You know what I'm saying? Especially nowadays, if we haven't even, I know I'm not as mobile, I can't get out and do shit, but if we hadn't even, I mean, I hadn't even got to the point to where you would even set up a date. Because all that shit got to come from the female. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't saying a woman got to ask me out. But I mean, the conversation, we have, the conversation have to kind of turn that way. I'm not going to just be like, hey, let's go do this because ain't really shit I can do. You know what I'm saying? Me and my goddamn vision, I just have to kind of go along with some shit that's brought up. I can't be suggesting nothing because it ain't really shit I want to do. <laughs> so... I'm like, okay, this the conversation ain't going up. We not it's not even a, a conversation where you chatting and shit. The only person that I had that with was uh that shit lasted for a couple of weeks and it done died off. You know. 
it is what it is, you know. Talk to somebody real hard for a couple of weeks, and then all of a sudden, bloop, you die off. It really ain't that part of you know, with that took last shit they'll talk about. I ain't got shit to say. They done said every goddamn thing. It ain't shit they'll talk about. Because that's what happens. Unless you just with a blabber mouth or whatever the fuck, you just gonna sit on the phone and listen about somebody else's business. If you not out there with whoever you talking about, if y'all not actively seeing each other, ain't gonna be shit to talk about. Unless y'all sitting around binge watching shit over the phone with each other, some you know, some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Some kind of virtual shit y'all done set the fuck up. It can be done. That shit ain't going on over here. Like I say, I ain't going over there. You ain't came over here. We ain't decided about nothing in the middle. What is to talk about? You know, we're not creating shit. You know what I'm saying? You're not creating shit. I mean, numbers just sit in my fucking phone and then eventually, like, bloop, 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 like, that, like that one number in my phone, that's going to get deleted. Why? Why have it in my phone? They don't reply to the shit in my phone, but they still messaging me on Facebook. Well, shit, just leave it on Facebook. That's fine. That's fine. I tell people shit like that all the time. I get somebody hit me up with, with a straight ass phone number. I'm like, man, nah, I'm not giving you my phone number like that. You know, I do that sometimes. It's just like suspect. It depends on the profile. Sometimes you'll get some shit. You get a fucking somebody, huh? Yeah, uh, give me a phone number. Hell, fuck you. I went and looked at profile and my blind ass ain't seen now bio, no nothing. You got a basic ass profile with one goddamn picture. Now I'm not giving you my goddamn phone number. Suck my ass, motherfucker. You know? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I'm giving you my fucking phone number. I just got this phone in fucking November. I ain't had no fucking Medicare, Medicaid calls. I ain't I ain't had not now Indian motherfucker call my phone. Now motherfucker Peter David. All them weird ass, generic ass American names they be using. Asking me about my senior benefits and all that shit. I ain't had none of that since I changed my goddamn number. You know what I'm saying? So, no, I'm not giving out my fucking phone number unless I'm um, I'm convinced you're a real goddamn person. Fuck out of here, man. That's what I've been going through over the past couple of weeks as far as this dating shit I'll be like it don't be nothing for me to talk about I be wanting to make videos ain't shit for me to talk about tell you the truth and then the only thing of any kind of interest or entertainment or anything that's it the stupid shit I run across online and I can't do like I want to do well I mean I could do it but I'm not well I just I mean I could just screenshot all the shit and then Add it into my videos and stuff like that, but you know, I used to do that kind of shit on Facebook. And I'm just, at some point, you just being mean. Not everybody deserves to be put on goddamn blast for whatever fuck. Some motherfuckers do. Some motherfuckers do. But <laughs> like the people with the nothing conversations and all kind of other shit like that. You know, I just yeah. I don't need to be putting them people on blast and sticking their face all over the place. Now, them stupid motherfuckers like that white broad in Michigan and shit like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the type of motherfucker that would, you know, yeah, you blast their ass, motherfucker. You just hop in motherfuckers' inbox being mean for no goddamn reason. <laughs> don't tell me I'm not a good looking man. Shit. I tell people that all the time. Most times when motherfuckers hop in my, when I got a feeling that uh, somebody done messes me and they telling me how good I look. I, I know because every time I do that, every time I hear that shit, I always bring up, have you read my profile? And the answer is always fucking no. And that means you scroll through the goddamn profile and you done scroll past the maximum amount a motherfucking can, can type. 500 characters for most, unless you don't match or some shit like that, they give you like 4,000 characters. Even that is too goddamn much. I'm like, ah. But every other way is yeah, you maxed out at like 500. You can't type no more than that damn that. For a, a bunch of standing ones in there, some of them you can't even type that much. So that means you done scroll past a whole section that you had to scroll past to look at all the pictures. 
You had to overlook that shit on purpose. You was like, nope. And went right, started looking at all the goddamn pictures. Oh, he cute. And the thing about it is, the shit that I got at the top is three lines at the top that's designed to catch your fucking eye. They up there by themselves, capital letters away from the, 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 the paragraph shit. You know what I'm saying? So you have to make an... You either just don't give a fuck about people's bio or you just <laughs> blind. I don't know. <laughs> Did you have to scroll by that shit? You have to scroll by some shit I put, I designed to catch a motherfucker's eye. It's separate from the rest of the goddamn bio and they, they just overlook that shit all together. I don't know, man. I just don't know. I don't know what the hell is up with folks on these goddamn dating apps. And I can understand if you read my profile and you don't get it, you know what I'm saying? But I don't need you to tell me you don't get it. If you don't get it, just disappear like a bunch of motherfuckers do. Like I say, I send out a bunch of messages. You know what I'm saying? Because that's that's how you have to do. No matter what the fuck you are or are not looking for, that's how you operate on, on dating apps. You know what I'm saying? Unless you just swipe it for the fuck of it. You know, you just swipe it for the fuck of it. You don't intend on messaging nobody or replying to any messages you get. You just want to fucking... You know, wear your fucking screen out on your fucking phone. You know, that type of shit, whatever, you know. If that's what you enjoy, that's what you enjoy. And I can understand that motherfucker. Like, I ain't look, I ain't look. I'm like, look, I ain't look for nothing. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not. I'm not looking for nothing. Try to explain that shit. So every once in a while, you have to try to explain that shit to somebody you actually talk to. It's time. Whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen. Whatever's gonna come along is gonna come along. But you have to be you have to put yourself in a position to be able to react to whatever comes along, comes along. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just like, yeah, you know, you're gonna scratch the lottery ticket or whatever the fuck, you know, win the big number. Well, you know, you might not care if you win or not. You know what I'm saying? I mean you might like to win, but you ain't you ain't investing in it. You know, you put your little dollar in and, you, you know, that's it. You know, like, right now, look at this shit. God damn it, I'm knocking this shit over. Ah! Look right here. Look at this. Look at this scratch-offs. I got five, five uh, $2 scratch-offs right here. Break the banks. I have been had these things since way last week. I ain't scratched out none of them. I bought them as a gift. Well, the other half of these I bought as a gift. I had a twenty dollar bill. There, so I was like, "Fuck it, I'm not leaving no ten dollar in my pocket." Put in my pocket, my pocket. So, fuck it. I went. I just bought ten, and I put the other in a little gift. You know, I'm not gonna be scratching this shit. You know, intended. You know, gotta win. Gotta win. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? All the swiping I'm doing ain't nothing but this right here. Instead of $2, you know what I'm saying? The little swipes just cost me a couple of seconds of time. You know what I'm saying? You don't get invested in that shit. That's all it is. Chance. Sometimes you run across people and because you don't, you don't, you don't know what, what you're going to get when you run across people. Don't matter how good the pictures look. I be on them damn apps. Man, women look so goddamn good. I done been in this shit. I'm 40 fucking seven. I be 48 this year. And uh, I've been around and seen people. You know what I'm saying? In their natural state. <laughs> Especially women. You know what I'm saying? It's like... Is 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 that what she really looked like? You know what I'm saying? It's a good goddamn chance that no. Whatever you seeing on those pictures, those five, six, seven, eight pictures, how many pictures they got on there, that what you fucking see ain't what you uh you know, that's not that's not the everyday them. That's the good shit. You know what I'm saying? 
Shut up. You know, that's 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 the 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 representative. That's why it's one of them, one of the things where if I see motherfucker out and too much makeup, it's a red flag. I'm sorry. I don't give a damn. I don't know what you look like under that. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't know what you look like under that. Some folks, you know, they might have some gym pictures up or some uh, some kind of pictures where they active or doing some shit outside on the beach where you can't have all that shit and you get to see what they really look, fucking look like. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you can just look and tell and see that they, you know, ain't. But a lot of times, you know, all these pretty ass pictures, these folks don't look like that. That's what we used to looking at. You know what I'm saying? I know that's what you used to, used to looking at when you looking at pictures, but I also know in my head, oh, this is a pretty picture. I also know that naturally we don't look like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying we, but you know, as human beings, our, you know, our complexion and all that, we don't look like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you got all these celebrities and shit. Everybody talk about how all these celebrities and shit look and all this other stuff. All these celebrities that's all hot and 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 pretty and all kind of shit. All them motherfuckers are 50, 60 years old now look like they did when they was fucking 20. It's weird, ain't it? It's, I mean, it's really weird when you look at people, you know, uh, the stars that we got today that's in their fucking 60s. We've been looking at these people since they was just not starting out in their career. They don't look that much goddamn different. Now, I'm talking about black people for the most part, so you know it's a little bit different. But still, <laughs> it's... it's and a lot of that has to do with they take care of a lot. Some of them take care of themselves a lot better than us normal people. You can do that, you know, when you didn't, when you done made it, you got money and all kind of shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can make better choices with your life, and especially when, uh, you know, as an entertainer or whatnot, a lot of your uh, income is based on <laughs> this. Just like you're an athlete, you know what I'm saying? Yo. Your your body is your tool, so you have to take care of your body. As you know, even as an actor or as a performer, you have to take care of your goddamn body and you know your face and how you look. Keep all the little shit on, moisturize skin. You know, I make a lot of legit motherfuckers. You know, they they look better, but when you see them, they all made fuck up. They be showing pictures of these motherfuckers. They say, look, she's seventy years old. Blah blah blah. You don't see her at home. You know what I'm saying? You see her after she done been sat up with the goddamn light and you got 70 people doing this shit to her goddamn face before she take a picture or hop in front of a camera or some shit. See that motherfucker at home on a fucking Wednesday afternoon just chilling like a villain. You walk up to the door, knock on the door, they answer the door, you're gonna be like, what? Who the fuck is... Is that you? Yeah, uh, yeah. I ain't got my face on today. I ain't working with the fuck you up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm like when I'm on the goddamn day naps. I see all the pretty ass pictures. You just, okay. I know them not your goddamn eye line, uh, <laughs> eyebrows because you got right angles in your fucking eyebrows. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's no right angles. You see this? You see all this shit? What right angles do you not see? I mean, do you see, motherfucker? Us as people, in general, ain't got right angles. Everything is rounded to some guy. Now, I know some people got them weird-ass hairlines and shit, but you know what I'm saying? Now, I ain't talking about that. You know, motherfucker get edge up and they straighten that shit up. I'm just talking about naturally. Get up in here. And then they fucking, whatever the fuck it is, look like that shit is pasted on. And I look at all that shit. I have to overlook. I have to over overlook some shit. You know what I'm saying? I do because at that point I'm not I'm not talking to no fucking body. I can't fuck with none of these bras with with all this makeup and shit on. Well, shit. At that point, I mean, three quarters of the motherfuckers. I'm just wiping right on, and everybody else that I got, uh, everybody else that's that's, that's swipeable. It's not people I want to swipe on. I'm telling you right now, the non makeup people that I that I <laughs> this sounds so mean. The non makeup people I be seeing, I be like, man, they need some makeup. <laughs> they do. Unless you run across some of those all natural ass people, but you see those people look better because they don't never wear fucking makeup. 
It's funny how that is, huh? You see a motherfucker that don't wear makeup and you scared to see him without makeup on. He's like, ah, you don't know what the fuck you gonna get, but a motherfucker that don't wear makeup at all, ever. I, I, I don't even have shit to say. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, okay, cool. But motherfuckers that cake their face up all the time. You know what? You might you might not want to do that. You might want to stop. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with the fucking eyelashes. Can't take you fucking seriously. You got you 40, 50 years old. You got fucking inch and a half in eyelashes just flapping off your goddamn face like that. You don't manage to stay alive all this time and you ain't realize how stupid that shit look. You can do certain shit when you are a performer. You can do weird shit and wear weird clothes and do all kind of stupid shit. You can do what you want to do, too, too, but, you know, because you ain't always got to be fall in with the norm or whatever. But just realize you look stupid with the fucking flappy ass, big fucking eyelashes that you got to fuck with. All, they always doing some shit with their eyelashes. You know, if you didn't have them shits on, you wouldn't have to fucking um, fuck with that shit. You know, you fuck around, motherfucker. You know, motherfucker ain't got no makeup or nothing on, and you see there ain't nothing up here. They don't got no fucking. What the fuck happened to your eyebrows? You go through some cancer treatment that ain't take nothing but your eyebrows. You still got a little hair up here, but all this shit is gone. You draw some weird ass eyebrow on top of your face. Get the fuck out of here. I have to look at that shit. I do. I have to look at that shit. I'm like, the fuck she got going on. You know, it's, it's it's weird. I have to look at the fucking hairline. But well, you got some lace front shit on. You got that round ass hair, uh, round ass uh, uh, hairline shit going around here with your hair that that don't look like it's attached to your fucking head. I know about that shit. Or you get that big fucking split right here. I'm like, yeah, get the fuck out of here. You sat down and went through that whole process and thought that shit was cute. You, you ain't think it was weird that you got this hair sitting on the front of your head that don't attach to nothing? Or you got this big fucking Moses split the red seat part right down the middle of your fucking head? That shit don't look weird to you at all. You know? And usually when you run across those goddamn people, it's the the shit right here. You know, they get all, it's, it's, it's a whole thing. If they got the, the fucked up hair shit going on, that means they got all this other shit going on too. Like the uh, some chick Mondre, Mondre. That's the one that uh, the conversation just kind of ended. <laughs> two miles. That thing say two miles away. I'm like, really? You within walking distance of my motherfucking house? That's that's a red flag because I don't never run across people uh, across over here where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? I'm over here in the Fifth Ward area, and I out of all the fucking people. You, it, it's like, okay, people over here don't use their naps. I know they do. You can do a search and shit. If you do a search for like people within five miles or some shit like that or some, you know. It's kind of funny because I don't get no fucking, uh, when I do do that, every once in a while I will do. I said, let me slice this shit all the way down to close as I can get to my vicinity. Meet some people that's in my neighborhood or in at least in the next neighboring neighborhood or some shit like that. I mean, God, boy, that is the most unsuccessful shit. It is. As a woman, I would see, I'd be like, nah, I don't want that motherfucker. I don't want to talk to nobody that close to me. I can see that. But it's just, I know, I know me personally, I'm just like, every time I done done that, it's been motherfuckers that have been like 0.5 miles and less than a mile from my house or some shit to where I'm like, okay, I you know what I'm saying? I'm like, shit, we can meet at the fucking gas station over there. You know, we can we, we can meet at the Burger King. I can get them walk over there right now. I done ran across a couple of uh, a couple of those. It ain't been often, but it's happened. But I, it's like, nah, anything convenient like that just, just don't fucking work. So I like to meet somebody, you know what I'm saying, just to hang out or whatever that's in the fucking vicinity. You know what I'm saying? Vicinity. Vicinity. Vicinity? Vicinity. 
I can't tell. My goddamn nose is got some shit. I was doing that shit, fuck around and blow a booger out of my nose or something on the camera. You know what? I wouldn't take it out either. I don't edit my videos like that. I think it's time to trim the, my nose hairs. It's time for me to trim my nose hairs. Anyway, that's that's what's but that's what's been going on. That's what's been going on. Uh I don't really like shooting these got these type of videos, but that's what's on the fucking brain right now. So that's all that's fucking happening. And uh, either tomorrow or the next day, because I have to get up and go to the gym either tomorrow or the next day. Uh, <laughs> um, and I hadn't been. I've been. I've only been to that 24-hour fitness on fucking Sunday. So I will run. I will run into a different crowd um, when I go in there. And run across and you know you see so you go like I've been on there on Sundays. The two times that I've been, I've been on Sunday, and you see you, you you catch a couple of the the, the people. I mean, the only thing I can see, I can recognize is I know it was a white chick. It was two white chicks. One you just kind of recognize because she always had like these black tights on and she got like a ace bandage wrap around one knee, so she's easy to recognize. You know, when you see her, you're like, oh, I saw her last week. And then it's this other little white chick that got on these little, this bra and panty set. That's what the fuck it look like. This shit is just, I'm like, okay, I know what you look like, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know what you look like, nigga. I've seen her twice because she had like the same outfit on both times she come in there. You get to see some new goddamn people going there on another goddamn day. Uh, and see some new goddamn people. I say, okay, let me look around. I get to see a whole other list of uh, uh, of people, uh, uh, of women. I said, I'm going to go look at some whole different, all these gym women, all these kind of, all the women that I have no chance to ever fucking talk to ever. That's because I don't. Not in the gym I won't. Online I might, but even when I run across those type of people online, but yeah, I just nothing. Nothing. But like, okay, I, I'd like to be the woman one day that looked like that. No. Last time I ran across a woman that talked all that gym shit. Uh, she's a fitness instructor. Apparently she's a fitness instructor for people for overweight folks. And you fat yourself. I did run across another fitness instructor way back in the day. Her name was Zarif or some shit. Some tall black chick. She uh, she was like, she did like those fucking Zuma classes or some shit like that. But she was a hoe though. She was, I mean like she was a little hoe. But I ain't gonna say she was a hoe. But uh, she was overtly promiscuous. Let me put it like that. I went out with her once, maybe twice. I think she wanted to do something that night. Though. And it was one of them things where it was like, uh, this is back, way back in Facebook times, where, okay, if you, if you can go, you can look through her, uh, her comments on her posts and shit like that and know who the fuck she fucking. I mean, it was like literally I was in one of her posts. I was like, that, that's three niggas she fucking right now. Right now. Right now. There's three motherfuckers right there. That's. Fuck out of here. And not all of it was not all of it good. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it'd be some sour ass comments or some shit now. Some shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just like. And then I cut. Uh, we end up going out of some shit. I remember we end up going to. Out there to the, the marquee and shit out on I 10, 16 out there. And we ended up eating at the Denny's. I don't remember what the fuck we was doing, but I think she wanted to make a stop or do some shit. You know what I'm saying? Something I don't, I, it didn't happen. I know in my mind, I was like, I'm not finna end up in your fucking in, in your uh, comments. 
know what I'm saying? Think about that shit. You know, you turn down some shit. I guess it's for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Turn down some shit. Just like, nah, I'm not for the, I'm not for the end up in that shit. Pussy was available, and I don't run across women like that often. I really don't. Some tall black, fine fitness instructor. That's because I, I think I, that's because I knew she was kind of, uh, you know, fast beforehand. You know, you take the date because you take the date. You ain't got to finish that motherfucker off like that. You know what I'm saying? Not that I haven't done worse. With all the shit that I've done, I probably should have just, just took that shit. But, you know, well, I think, she, well, last I looked, she was married. And she wasn't married to no regular motherfucker either. She ended up married to some. I don't want to, I, I can't tell, I, I can't say what nationality or whatever the fuck, but uh, he looked like a, like a, a a Middle Eastern type of guy. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's from somewhere over, out, up in the, past the Mediterranean type of shit. He's from somewhere out, up over there. So, and from the looking of the pictures and shit that she posted from the wedding and other pictures that she posted, dude, you know, pretty fucking well off so you know she fucked the right motherfucker <laughs> but anyway I, I like I said I don't, I don't run across those every other person that I've met that's been like very attractive it's, it's always some bullshit it's always they either stupid or it's just nothing in common and I ain't trying to be mean with that it's just sometimes you meet a motherfucker they pretty and dumb you could tell that Month, they've been getting by on their looks their whole life. And like, post things. <laughs> or you meet a motherfucker that, that look all right and they fine and all kind of shit. Man, I you, you, you just, you just, everything's a conflict. Not bad conflict, but it's it's just, it's always you know, some shit that you ain't, that you ain't trying to deal with. You're like, hey, what? So we clash on that, we clash on that, <laughs> we clash on that. It's just like, shit, we ain't got nothing in common. Goddamn. Where are the fine broads at that I got all the shit in common with? The freaky shit, you know, the down, that, that wasn't going to come out right at all. The, the just, the, the sit down and chill shit in common with, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know. I don't fucking know, man. I don't get it. Maybe I done matured too goddamn fast. You well, know, I say matured too fast. Maybe I done aged too goddamn fast where I'm not super, uh, super mobile like everybody. Everybody want to be up and about, moving around and all kind of shit. Like, nah, ain't really my thing, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just, I, 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 I did that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm past it. I don't want to go sit off in nobody's lounge or club or bar. I know none of that shit. I ain't trying to go hang out, you know, somewhere to a whole bunch of people like fucking cheers or friends or some shit like that. No, I ain't trying to go create my own goddamn buddy sitcom, no shit like that. That's what you want to do. Go and do it. I'll be right here when you're done. I don't want to do it. I had somebody that got pissed off at me because I didn't want to go hang out with her friends and shit. They her friends go meet at somewhere and they all sit down at some restaurant or whatever fuck and they sit down around the table and do all kinds of shit. You don't want to get, no, I don't want to get my fuck. I want to go sit around, sit around a table with a whole bunch of people that look better than you. That's what it's going to turn out. That's, that's what that was going to turn out to be. <laughs> that's what that was going to, she was a cool person, but she ain't. Another one of them motherfuckers that, that when they take off their goddamn makeup, you like, what the fuck? And then she was about 350, 375 on top of that. So, yeah. <laughs> we hung out a couple times, but it's just like, I, I don't want to be, you know, not that I don't want to be hitting, sitting around the table with, with you. Like, I'm ashamed of hanging around with you or not. I don't want to be sitting around hanging around a whole bunch. I know how my mind works. I've done it before. When you sitting there with the person that you, you know, because you don't know what the fuck they done told you. And it's my friend such such, you know, probably. You don't know what the fuck, you don't know what them, you told people. You sitting there, and there's fucking six, seven, eight motherfuckers around the table, probably about three or four females. And from that particular 
one that I was with, everybody at the table can't help but look about three, four, five times better than the one that who I'm sitting there with. I'm automatically pissed off. No, let them start talking about dating and shit like that. You're going to be like, well, if you doing that and you doing that and you doing that, how come I didn't end up meeting one of y'all instead of this right here where I'm sitting? Why? 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 I've done that several times. No, I don't want to. I don't, I don't want to meet your kin folks, sisters. No, none of that shit. Because you already know you're going to go meet a motherfucker. I got uh, one broad I met out in Missouri City or whatever the fuck. I uh, know I just talked about this not too long ago. Went out there. She's a. If you had to go a, 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 a rating of 4 to 10, 4 to 10, of 0 to 10, she had to be like a. Just just on looks alone. Because she was a nice Everybody's a nice person. I think we, we had singing in common. Because I was singing back then. So, you know. Can't I, well, I could now, but I don't do that shit no more. But it was, you know, when, I think it was one of them things where her pictures look all right. You know what I'm saying? But you know, just from from the neck up and even from the neck down, four or five out of ten. But if you uh you get to a house and you see sister, I mean, I mean, because uh, she lived with her cousins, you see. Sister number one, sister number two, and they mama. Oh my goodness! All of them are nine plus. Even the mama, all of them. And they had a, a, a dude, uh, the brother. It was a guy probably about my size, looked like a muscular R. Kelly. That motherfucker was a nine. Not in my book, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he ain't had no problem with the women. I tell you that much. I'm like, shit. <laughs> and I'm sitting there, I'm just like, you can't, it's just like, oh, man. Just... Instant disappointment. That's why when it comes to like, when you with somebody, I don't want to see shit else. I'm sit my ass down. You know what I'm saying? You will sit your ass down. Don't do shit. Just chill. Stay in your little spot. You get your little woman or whatever. Sit your ass down because at least how my dirty ass mind work. You get out and you're going to see everybody. It don't matter what you seen when you were single. Now that you done, you done call yourself talking to somebody or whatever the fuck. I have y'all in the range that shit where y'all just dating or going out or some shit. Everybody you see. It's going to look better than the motherfucker you with. That's how it go. At least with me. You go out to eat. Goddamn waiters. Wait, waiters. Waitress. Going to be fine as fuck. I'm like, woo. You sitting there ordering your food. You doing this shit right here. I'm not even looking up, bro. I'm just, what you want? I take uh, I take the fish. Give me grilled fish. Grilled fish. And some water, please. Don't even look up. Because you know how motherfuckers is. You going to. If the way if that waitress walk off and she got some junk like that, you you gonna find an excuse to turn. You gonna act like you looking for the bathroom or show where the bathroom at. But you gonna be looking at the waiter waitress try to get a glance or some shit. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna it's gonna be that. Nah, it's always gonna be something. It's just like ah. Right. You gotta stay content. For me to stay content, I gotta stay in my fucking place. I don't. Don't have me in the. I don't want to go nowhere. I don't want to. Well, I ain't gonna say I want to go anywhere, but I ain't. I ain't trying to go to no social events and shit where where it's gonna be like other people. I think. Ah, no, 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 no. For me not to be worried about that shit, everything gotta be a o fucking gay. Everything gotta be a o fucking gay. You can't be fucking up at all. You can't be. You can't be fucking off or have attitude problems or whatever the fuck. You can't be clashing and bumping heads and all this other kind of stuff and then we out where I can see all kind of other people. And I'm going to tell you right now I'm going to like everybody but you. I'm like, damn, she's fine as fuck. I bet she don't get on nobody's nerves. Which is a goddamn lie. <laughs> this is a goddamn lie. This is like... Anyway, let me get off of here. 
I will catch y'all on the next time. I just ain't got shit else but to do. Uh, because naturally, right now, uh, I don't know what the fuck I'm I'll probably sit down and play me some video games for a while and soak my feet. Uh, and then plan on, uh, I got some stuff I need to run through the wash machine to get my gym bag ready. Just so when it's time for me to get up and go, I can get up and go. I ain't got to plan shit. I just boop, grab my bag and out the fucking dope. So I will catch y'all on the next one. I said the next one.